it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I am here in the studio in Dubai and I am joined by Ahmed uh, Shabir, CEO of Dolphin Shipping. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Leslie. Thank you so much. Oh, it's great to have you here and what a beautiful stand you have this year. Yeah, I mean, we got that appreciation, I mean, every year for our stand, maybe a little colorful because we got uh, our logos that represents you know, uh, the three elements, um, air, land, as well as sea. So we always try to, I mean, uh, project ourselves a little bit, uh, you know, something better than others. Yes. And we do get that appreciation from others. Thank you so much. Well, it is beautiful. So tell me about um, your experience here at the event. Um, so excited that we are back. I mean, um, after the pandemic, this is the first event we are participating. Um, with the mask on, I mean, we can see the people are moved into this event. Yesterday it was more busy, but we thought, I mean, today it is less. But nevertheless, I think a similar kind of number of people has attended the second day as well. So we are glad that uh, um, it came up to our expectations. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. So let's give our audience a little uh, better idea of dolphin shipping, what your capabilities are and what you offer. Sure, yeah. Yes, uh, Dolphin Shipping Land is an NVOCC, uh, which is registered in the UK and having a headquarters in uh, UAE. And we've been uh, in NVOCC industry for the last uh, 15 years, having offices in uh, India, I mean eight offices in India, and uh, also in uh, uh, Pakistan we have office. That's, um, I mean, uh, a JV office. And we also have uh, offices in uh, uh, Oman and the rest of the places we are having agency. Almost, uh, I mean, 45 agencies uh, worldwide. Uh, like all other NVCC operators, I mean, uh, we are also having uh, special equipments, dry boxes as well as uh, reefer containers. And we do have our own uh, division of freight forwarding besides our NVCC division. Um, freight forwarding offices also we have in, um, uh, in this region, like uh, most of the GCC countries. And we also are focusing on breakable uh, and another vertical of uh, our shipping uh, uh, business. The other reason we are trying to get into uh, break bulk Middle East, exhibiting ourselves, so then we can get more business uh, into projects as well as break bulk. Excellent. So, um, where are you seeing new business opportunities as we move into 2022? See, assets. Um, during the pandemic, I've seen them I in. Mean, Many big industries, uh, they, 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 they fall down. I mean, the tourism industry and the hotel industries. But unfortunately, the lo shipping and logistics, they sustained and they scaled. You know, the business has improved. So as for us, I mean, uh, I should be honest. I mean, uh, people will ask me questions like, how the pandemic uh, affected you? I mean, for me, it is in a positive way. I mean, our business has improved a lot. I mean, because of the, the cargo movement from, you know, our, our region, our sectors, we never felt any shortcomings on that. So uh, we've been here, I mean, uh, all this while in the Middle East region, we are planning to expand because our business into Southeast Asia and China has also improved a lot. So we are planning to expand our uh, uh, offices. I mean, we already have the business, but we are planning to set up our own office in these places, like Malaysia, Singapore, all these places. So I hope, I mean, uh, our volume has increased during pandemic and to improve more in the coming days. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that gives us a good um, snapshot of Dolphin, and I appreciate you sharing it with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to be here. Thank you so much.